Hello and good morning. Welcome to our daily readings on July the 1st. I am doing our daily readings today from the Tarot deck by Top Black Publishers. These are quite big, so I'm going to be getting our Energy of the Day card. I'm not sure why I told you they're big, but they are big. <laughs> our Problem card, if there is one. There is a problem, there's always a problem. And a solution card for the day. So I hope you're all uh, doing really well. I can't believe it's the 1st of July. Time is ticking on. Did you see that little fairy? It's like a silk, an air silk, they call them. Um, but yeah, it just went across there. Um, if you see fairies around people, it means they're quite, their energy is quite fairy tastic. <laughs> okay, are we ready? So the card for this today, for the 1st of July, for Monday, is the Eight of Pentacles. I love that you've got this card and I get why you've got this card because you're moving into a new trajectory. The angels have been saying to me for a while as I've been doing these readings that those of you who are watching them, you're moving into a, an abundance frequency. But they're not necessarily talking about money per se, but they are talking about a frequency of money. So they're, they're talking about the freak, no, no, sorry, not money abundance they are talking about the frequency around abundance and how you can use it to your best level okay and this is about what you do and how it creates you financial reward okay and you've got an eight in this today's so it's a little bit lower than some of the readings you've had in the past however it's not a problem because when we get to the 10 or the 9, we have to move back down again and then we start up again. It's kind of the trajectory of life and that's how it works. Okay, so let's look at if there's a problem. Let's cross the fingers. There is no problem. No, there's no problem. It's a beautiful card. You've got the Queen of Wands. I love this. I love it when we get a card that is sort of unexpected. We're not expecting it, okay? Because... Because it's a problem area, you're expecting something to be difficult, but this isn't. And if there was any difficulty, it was only on the level of you not being able to say what you mean. However, because you're in the energy of the Queen, you're going to be able to catalyse it. You will be able to work through it. It's not a problem. So the angels are telling me to talk about the energy of the sun. And they're also talking about the solar plexus. Now, they're asking me to say that for those of you who are watching now, they really would recommend you going out into the garden or a green space barefoot, standing on grass and sort of just putting your hands, I'm going to show you. So you're putting your hands in this position beside you, so like, so down with your palms facing that way, okay, so they'll be that way, but they're down here like that. And you're raising your head up and looking upwards to the sky. And just do that for about three or four minutes in the morning, middle of the day and in the evening, it's really, really going to be good for you. Um, it can bring good luck and lots of opportunity doing that practice. The other thing the angels are talking about is your solar plexus, that the, the energy of this day within this energy of the Eight of Pentacles is about you being strong in your centre, strong in your solar plexus, able to have your boundaries, able to stay, say the words you mean to say, and do the things you need to do. There is no, I don't get any um, confusion here. I don't get any lack of surety. You know where you are. You know who you are. The other thing the angels are talking about is your heart. And they're saying to me to say to you that allow the solar plexus. This is a difference to normal. Normally the top, the upper triangle informs the lower triangle and up and vice versa. But this particular thing as in the upper triangle will support the lower triangle, even though the lower triangle is supporting the upper triangle. But normally the heart will go into the energy down here. The energy that they're showing me here is where your solar plexus energy moves into your heart, expanding your heart, allowing you to be stronger on the level of love and the level of autonomy and independence. They're talking about autonomy and independence and you being your sovereign self. Now, the other thing about the queen figure here is it's asking you to, and the angels are asking you to, tune into your strongest aspect. What? Who would you be if you were a princess or a queen? Who would you be? They want you to remember that when you look up there, there are people who are kings, there are people who are queens. They're just people you can be as they are. You may not have their privilege or their um, lack of needing to acquire things. I mean, they don't have to do the work maybe that so many people in the other realms have to do, but their realms are no different. All the realms are the same and they want you to step into your sovereign energy and to understand that. 
Okay, they said that a little bit last time as well, didn't they? In one of the other readings last week, I think. If you don't know what I'm talking about, do have a look back at last week's readings to see what that was about. Okay, and you've got the eight of wands. I do like that because you've got two eights. Eights are a lucky number in Chinese. The Chinese say the eights are lucky. It's the lucky eight. So you've got two eights. So you've got eight on the level of abundance and eight on the level of speaking, communication, talking. This is very Gemini in energy, very mercurial, the mercury energy holding you instead, right? Giving you the energy to really hardwire into your heart, knowing how to say the right words and do the right thing. The other thing the eights are giving me, because I've added them together, is the 16. Now as a 16, you've got the seven. So you've got the one, which is the independence. You've got the six, which is love. And then you've got the seven, which is a spiritual component. What spirituality, what spiritually is going to take you to this space? What spiritually is going to align you into receiving the abundance that you deserve? Because this is the thing that they're showing me. The angels are literally showing me like loads and loads of gold and treasures. And there's even like Aladdin's lamp even there. It's like a genie lamp like you know like a lantern thing and they're saying to me to say to you guys you need to step into that to have the abundance to have that frequency you need to step into it you need to find it the other thing is your words are growing wings so to speak in the sense of you're going to be able to commit to this be this be strong it also means that because you're in this strong energy you're going to be able to say your words with love effectively because this is heart energy more heart energy there's heart energy in these words that you need to speak anything else angels yeah through speaking with love through speaking with energetic vibration and caring you're going to open a new doorway for something else to bloom in your life something to come up that hadn't come up before and this is going to be very key to the next steps in your life now the angels are wanting me to tell you to remember that everything is a journey and life is a journey it will test us we will have limitations that could then support us to succeed they're asking me to say see your limitations as ways to support yourself so you succeed so there you go my lovelies that is your reading for today for monday um if you do feel cool please do subscribe i'd love to have you on board do give me a thumbs up if you've got this far i'd be really really grateful if you're interested in either videos above it will be last Friday's, uh, might be this side, or this side, I can't remember, last Friday's um, reading for the day. And it'll also be a pick a card if you haven't watched it already. Do take care and have a lovely, 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 lovely week. Namaste, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. Lots of love.